before Iran attacked the Prime Minister, in fact attacked Pakistan, Pakistan caretaker Prime Minister met Iran's Foreign Minister in Davos. Iran, remember, has struck terror group bases in Pakistan. Pakistan has also responded to that, saying that this was unprovoked. Two bases of Balochi militant group Jaish al adlahan in Pakistan were targeted by missiles on Tuesday. Iranian state media reported the day after Iran's elite revolutionary guards attack targets in Iraq and Syria with missiles. The militant group has previously mounted attacks on Iranian security forces in the border area with Pakistan. And this meeting, Gaurav, happened in the sidelines of Davos where both the leaders, in fact, had a photo opportunity as well. And that picture speaks a thousand words. Mm. Just look at that picture. Pakistan's Prime Minister is sitting very timidly in one corner, uh, very defensive. And, uh, you know, he's, the, he's the, of course, the caretaker Prime Minister of Pakistan, Anwarul Haskakar, the way he's sitting and how proudly is Iran's foreign minister sitting uh, because Iran has actually bombed Pakistan and bombed terror bases in Pakistan. It's a huge blow to Pakistan. It's a very major attack that has taken place. Multiple rockets, multiple missiles and drones were fired in the Panjgur area. This is in Balochistan. And uh, it's a Shia, uh, uh, you know, Iran is a Shia Muslim country. Pakistan is a Sunni Muslim country, so there's a sectarian angle to it. It's a Sunni Muslim terrorist organization called Jaish al Adal, or the Army of Justice, as uh, they call themselves. They had targeted Iranian security forces, and Iran, after much deliberation, first sent in drones, identified the headquarters, not only targeted the headquarters, but multiple bases of this terrorist organization, Jaish al Adal. Pakistan may claim that some women and children have been killed and injured, but the fact remains that this is the fourth time that Pakistan's nuclear bogey has been called out, its nuclear bluff has been called out. Sneha, Pakistan is a nuclear weapon country, and Kargil war in 1999, India's surgical strike in 2016, India's airstrikes in 2019 in Balakot and Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, and now Iranian airstrikes have completely exposed the Pakistani armed forces there. Right. Gaurav, I'm going to thank you for joining us with your inputs, your perspective this morning on that story that we are tracking very closely. Of course, uh, Pakistan has gone on to speak about the fact that they believe this was unprovoked is what they've said. Also underscoring the fact that two children have in fact been killed in this particular attack. They say this is a violation of its airspace by Iran. More international news this morning as well. Hamas war has entered a new era after U.S. and British warplanes and ships launched dozens of attacks across Yemen. In retaliation for continuous Houthi attacks in Red Sea, the war seems to have now hit Pakistan, where two bases of Balochi militant group Jaish al Adla in Pakistan were targeted by missiles on Tuesday, a day after Iran's elite revolutionary guards attacked targets in Iraq and Syria with missiles. In fact, the militant group previously mounted attacks on Iranian security forces in the border area with Pakistan. Pakistan has in fact gone on to say that, that neighboring Iran has violated its airspace as well, resulting in the death of two children who were killed in these airstrikes. Three girls were also injured in this hours after missiles by Iran targeted bases of Jaish al Adla. Islamabad has warned. The incident could have serious consequences and was completely unacceptable in a statement that has now been released by Pakistan's foreign office spokesperson. Meanwhile, Iranian Foreign Minister Hussein Amir Abdullah met with Anwar ul Haq Kakar, the caretaker Prime Minister of Pakistan, on the sidelines of the World Economic Forum in Davos.